Uh, g'day and welcome to Guardian Arms Gaming. Welcome to another video. Um, I've been, um, yeah, sorry about the delay in getting a video out. Um, I have been a little bit out, out of sorts. Um, but the reason for this particular video is I've actually built a pole climbing um, elevator for making my base at the uh, chemical plant. This is not the big main chemical plant, it is one of the smaller manufacturing plants. And I was talking about getting my bed to the very top of the tower. Um, but in order to do that, I needed a reliable way to get there. And if you can imagine, trying to get a piston string all the way up there would cost a lot of components. So some of the features, um, I'll look at this leg for you. Uh, it's actually got two sets of piston um, and a suspension piece, which then pushes out the little arm. So if you're looking and we're climbing, we're watching these two mechanics working in, um, in situ. And it's got simple logic. One basically says extend, um, lock the leg, and then release the other leg, and then take another stroke. So once we start climbing, the, the leg goes out, pushes up, grabs, the bottom leg is grabbed, top leg is grabbed, and away we go, and we're climbing up the pole. Now we do actually slip down. It isn't 100% um, locked on. It does actually have a little bit of slippage. Um, I actually have a way to set all four uh, legs out and lock onto the pole pretty good, but this still slides as well. So it's not 100%, um, you know, uh, ratcheting power, but it does actually grip pretty good. And then to uh, get down the pole, we basically release all four um, of the piston uh, grabbers at the same time and basically slide down the pole. The top two um, angled pieces are for... Um, you work with the controller and that's to lock us at the top of the pole um, so to make sure we've got a very positive um, no slip way to get there and because we do have slippage um, at the top of my poles I actually have a stopper on the top rings so when we get right up the very top um, we end up pushing against the stoppers um, and we can push against the stoppers all you know without any problem at all it's like um, like a spinning tire it doesn't get any extra grab or anything so it actually locks us against the stoppers well, but we are technically still climbing, and then we can lock off once we get to the top. And the view from the top is spectacular. So we're just about there, maybe one or two more strokes. Yeah, two more strokes. I'll just get over this pin, and I'll use my controller and lock off the top pins. I can stop my climbing action, and we're free to get off the elevator and enjoy our view at sunset. Um, yeah, so. Vertigo warning for anybody else. I'm going to do our free fall descent off the top of the elevator. And you can see, I don't have my bed up here yet. That's where I was going to put my bed. Um, so it's yeah, been a challenge to get up here. Uh, so building this, um, had a lot of problems with the posts. Just had been working out how long they are, um, how to get them there. And here we go. And, and a run down. And here we go. So, is it is it is it most efficient? No, um, but is it resource friendly? Yeah, I'm only using two pistons, a couple of springs, and oh sorry, I'm using six pistons. But uh, four of them are normal. The suspension pieces are normal. Um, so the component kits, the only component real component kit spend is been in the high level pistons, which are the ones that are doing the lifting. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Um, from here on, it's going to be a bit of base building for myself. I've got to grind out some uh, glass, um, and from there, and I've realised I've been eating my <laughs> fruit for this packing station. I didn't get a packing station run done. I was just eating my fruit and enjoying building this uh, crazy contraption. So yeah, it is. There it is. It's a stair. It's a pole climbing, ratchetless um, elevator. I also wanted to see if there was a poor pole climbing mechanism I could use to do a warehouse raid to get to the roof without making a flying machine and um, the possibility is yes it does have a bit of slide um, but I could also make it quicker too um, by approaching all four sides of the pole um, anyway hope you enjoyed um, that's me thanks very much